How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Looking Out My Back Door as recorded by Credence Clearwater Revival on guitar. This is a fun song that has a couple different sections. I'm going to break the whole song down for you top to bottom and I'm going to show you just a main acoustic guitar part that you can take through the whole song. We're going to use a capo on the third fret so make sure you have your capo and before we get started I want to hook you up with something right away. At the first link down below I've got an exclusive guitar training series. So if you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube, you're going to get a ton more value out of this free content that's not on YouTube and it comes with tabs and sheet music and everything you need to get the most out of the lesson. So check that out at the first link down below for free. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Looking Out My Back Door as recorded by Credence Clearwater Revival. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a capo on the third fret. And that's going to make playing this song a lot easier. You can play it without a capo. You either have to just play a bunch of bar chords, or you could, of course, just play it in a different key. So if you just play exactly what I'm playing without a capo, it'll just sound a little lower. So you won't be able to play along with the recording. But if you want to play along with the recording, with what we're doing, make sure you're capoed up on the third fret. Now we're going to start off with some scratch strums, which is just where we mute the strings. And there's an acoustic guitar that plays this. And then we go into the groove. So this is just one, two, and three, and four, and we got kind of a quick tempo here. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. So that's down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then we go into the intro section, which sounds like this. We've got a little eight bar progression here. We're gonna play two bars of G to two bars of E minor. Then a bar of C, a bar of G, a bar of D, and a bar of G. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, E minor, four, one, two, three, four, then C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. So you can play any G that's comfortable for you. You could do this one, or this one. I actually recommend this kind of folk G, which is has my third finger on the third fret of the sixth string and then my pinky finger on the third fret of the first string. And we'll go to E minor, just open, two, two, open, open, open. C will play from the fifth string down. This is three, two, open, one, open. And then D from the fourth string down, open, two, three, two. Now our strumming pattern that we're going to put with this progression goes one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. So we're going to play two quarters, one, and two, and as down strums. Then our hand's going to go down. We're not going to play the strings. We'll come back up with up, down, up, three, and four, and. So it's one, and two, and three, and four, and. And up to speed, that sounds like this. A one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Now I am adding a little bit of a swing rhythm to it, so that, that changes the feel. We interpret those eighth notes, we swing them a little bit like this. Okay, then we start the verse and we play basically the same thing, but we're gonna play two bars of D at the end instead of D to G. So that's gonna go G, E minor, C, G, Stay on D. Then again, G. E minor. C. G. Then D. G. Okay, so that second part of the verse is exactly the same as the intro. So here it goes again. One, two, here's the verse. So then we go to the bridge from here, and this is where the, the lyrics sing tambourines and elephants, right? So that's going to sound like this. OK, 
Okay, so there's a little eight bar progression here. We're gonna play two bars of D to a bar of C, a bar of G. We'll keep our strumming pattern exactly the same. Then we'll go G to E minor and then two bars of D, so. That's the bridge. Again, tambourines and elephants. Here's what it sounds like as one piece. A one, two, three, four. Then we go back to the second half of the verse, which is just like the intro. Again, here it is again. Okay, then we go back to the verse for guitar solos. Here's what that sounds like. Then to the bridge, tambourines and elephants. Second half of the verse. Two, two, looking out my back door. Okay, now we do this little bridge section. So we're gonna hit that G one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, and then we're gonna walk down on the sixth string, frets three, two, one. And then we're gonna go to an E chord. Now this is where we have what's called a modulation. We change keys and we're gonna play a similar chord progression, but now in the key of E instead of in the key of G. So that's how we get there. We go. And we hit this walk and, then, and we go into a little guitar interlude there. So again, here's the G with the break. A one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, E. Okay, so this is a little interlude there. We're gonna play two bars of E, a bar of D, a bar of A. So that'll sound like this. Then we're gonna go A, F sharp minor, E, so. Now, that F sharp minor there is on the second fret, two, four, four, two, two, two. It's a bar chord there. I often play it as a thumb chord. And then E, same, same as before. So here's the interlude after the walk down. Okay, then we go to the final verse, and that's basically the verse chord progression, or you could think of it like the intro chord progression, but in the key of A, so that sounds like this. So that's A, F sharp minor, D, then to A, then E, then A. Okay, and then we do it again, and we just kind of slow down and swing. And uh, John Fogarty does this a lot. Like, he'll just change the feel. He'll go to, like, he'll really slow it down, or just, he, he does this in, uh, like, Midnight Special, and, and you kind of just change the whole groove of the song, so. tag have fun practicing looking out my back door as recorded by credence clearwater revival on guitar i hope you got some value out of today's video make sure to take it slow work out each section one part at a time then put it all together
Don't forget to get access to my exclusive guitar training series at the first link down below. Again, if you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube, you're going to get so much more value out of this free content at the first link down below. These are some of my best lessons that come with tabs and sheet music and everything you need to help take your playing to the next level. As always, leave your song requests that you'd like to see me teach here on the channel in the comments below. I'm posting a ton of song lessons and I always am looking at the comments for future video ideas. So get those in down below. Thanks for your support here on the channel and we'll see you in the next video.